As a 90s baby, I have a love for R&B that will never die. And I'm sure my fellow 90s babies can agree. Anytime I hear a song from the late 90s and early 2000s, I can think of the exact moment in time, what I was doing, how I was feeling in that moment. Those were the days when music actually meant something. It just hit different. But a lot has changed in the music industry since then. And R&B just isn't the same. The evolution of R&B has turned into something I really don't recognize. R&B is now a mix of R&B and hip-hop thanks to artists like Drake. Before Drake, rappers singing on their tracks were unheard of, but Drake made it cool to do both. And he opened the door for a new age of hook singing melodic rappers mixing the two genres into one where rappers sing and singers rap. The times of R&B boy bands like Boys to Men and Joe to See are long gone. They wrote music that hit you all in your feelings, and if you didn't have a relationship, you damn sure wanted one listening to those songs. They sung about being in love, falling out of love, heartbreak. Some of the biggest songs came from groups like SWV and Destiny's Child and the long list of male R&B groups. The music had meaning. Now every song is about drugs and sex. Times have changed and not for the better. Don't get me wrong, I love the scissors and the Janae Eichels of the world, the curse of singers, but I wouldn't necessarily call those girls R&B artists. They created their own genre with their unique sound, but it still doesn't compare to a Brandy track or a Toni Braxton track or any other female R&B artist who dominated in the 90s. So many classics were born from the 90s R&B era, but somewhere lines got blurred and the R&B train left with all of the good music. People of today don't care about lyrics anymore. If it's catchy and they can dance to it, that's all that matters in today's world of music. It's all about the next viral TikTok song and dance, and unfortunately, good artists are overlooked because of this. Think about the last R&B song you heard on the radio. You probably can't because the genre is almost non-existent. There used to be a balance in music, but now everything sounds the same. Um, I can definitely say that music has changed on the radio. Uh, the stations that I grew up listening to that were more R&B, soul, pop, uh, and hip-hop are now just dominated by rap, trap, and hip-hop. But it is what it is. So. I can definitely say that's the change that I've um, witnessed as far as mainstream radio is concerned. R&B was doing just fine before it turned into this musical fusion that we have today. It's simply not about good vocals anymore. Any famous SoundCloud rapper can put a little auto-tune on their track, create a catchy melody, and it's considered singing, and it might even go viral. And everyone is doing it, so it becomes quantity over quality. The way the music industry is going now, I'm afraid that I won't have a Whitney Houston of my era, because great talent like that isn't important anymore. For example, Fantasia is probably the biggest thing to come out of American Idol with an amazing voice. But where is she? And why is she not bigger than she is now? Her voice is greatly underrated, and it further proves my point people push real talent to the back burner for microwavable talent. Things have changed so much that the biggest artists that we know and love had to adapt to fit in with this new wave of artists, and some have completely disappeared. Music as a whole has changed into something unrecognizable from what it was in the 90s, and things evolved but a whole genre has been practically erased because of the hip hop culture of today. The 90s was the peak for good R&B music and the industry is now catering to the younger social media generation. And it's unfortunate that the kids of today won't have the classic music that us older millennials had. As much as R&B contributed to music in general, I thought that it would stand the test of time, but change happens. And unfortunately, I don't think real R&B will ever go back to what it used to be. It's nothing left to the imagination in songs anymore. It's all about pee popping and sneaky links because that's the culture right now. Rap and social media created the perfect storm for our lost culture today and it reflects in the music. But as an R&B head myself, my R&B will never die playlist will always be on repeat. How do y'all feel about the music of today? Be sure to let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!